hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to inherit an existing function in Odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials and in the last video what we have done is we have successfully added a field inside sales module here you can see we have added a confirmed user field and in this video what we will be doing we will be inheriting an existing function inside this model that is sale order model so here you can see we have a lot of buttons called send by email and you can see its method is action quotation send and you have a confirm button here which trigger action confirm method so you can see the button type is object so as a button type is object it will call a python function so and that method name is action confirm so if i go to the pycharm and if i go to the sales module so this is odoo arrows and if i scroll down and let me check the sale module so here we have the sale module and models folder you will see sale order dot py so this is the sale order model and you can see there will be a function action confirm action confirm you can see this is the function that get executed on clicking the confirm button so what we have to do what we have to do now we have to inherit this function that is we have to inherit the action confirm function of Odoo inside our module. So let's see how we can do that. So I'll keep this file over here. And what I will do, I will go to the custom add-ons where we have Odoo inheritance module. And I'll go to the models folder. Here we already inherited this model sale order. So we have to inherit this function diff action confirm. So what I'll do, I'll put it here. So this is the function that I have to copy. So the syntax of inheriting the function is calling the super. You may hear do the super or you may hear the name super. So inheriting a function is called as supering. And the syntax is super. You can see suggestion super. And if I click on enter super then class name. So the syntax is super inside bracket class name self then the function name so this is the syntax of inheriting a function diff function name then put the argument so here in the original function we have only self so if here we have some another arguments like test you have to add it here self comma test and super specify the class name so our class name is sale order then comma self function name again then you have to specify this test so if you have one more here test to you have to specify it here so this is the syntax of inheriting a function in Odoo so currently we don't have these arguments only this one diff action confirm self super of class name comma self action confirm so this is how simple we can inherit an existing function now how we can confirm whether this is working or not i'll simply add a print statement here success i'll just add a print statement here and i'll restart the service so for python change there is no need to upgrade the module and this function this file is already imported in init file and i have added the sale as dependent now what i'll do i'll simply click on the upgrade sorry simply click on the confirm button so here we have confirm button i'll clip the log empty click on confirm we have an error missing one argument because here we have added just extra test i'll remove that that's why the error is coming so i'll already start again i'll clear the log and i'll click on the confirm button again confirm button clicked and if you check the log you can see the success is getting printed over here so we have successfully inherited the function and what we have to do you can see the state has been changed so if you didn't specify the super what happens is so if i do like this without super what happens is that original function will not get executed 
so simply i have commented the super and if i try to create a new quotation i'll select the customer and i'll choose product save and here we have confirm button and if i click on confirm button you can see nothing happens because here only you can see success is printing and the code execution will stop there because we don't have super so the state has to be changed into sale order from the original function so we need if original function has to be executed we have to do super so if you don't do the super the original function will not get executed and it will be something like we are replacing the existing function so once you do the super this function will also get executed so i'll simply add a print statement here original function you can see if we check the log so i have added the super again here and now if i click on confirm state has been changed delivery has been created and if you check the log success you can see here the code execution comes here then it goes to the original function you can see original function so if we need to perform right now the sequence is first our print then original function so there might be some case where you have to execute the original function first then your then what you can do you can move this to first here you can put the first then let's see what happens and if i create cancel so i'll cancel the same one set to quotation we have confirmed so if i click on confirm i'll remove the log and i'll click on confirm you can see first the original function then success is get printed so this is how we can inherit an existing function in odoo now what i'll do doing on clicking the confirm button what i'll do i need to specify which user has been confirmed this record so simply i'll add self dot self will give us this record set and i need to write value to this field self dot confirm the user equal to self dot env user so this is a env environmental variable environment in odoo dot user so this will give us self dot env dot user will give us the current users id this command self dot env user will give us current logged in user so let's see what happens now so i'm assigning the confirmed user those who click the confirm button will be recorded here so if i click on confirm you can see confirmed user is mitchell admin so if i try to create a new record customer who meets add a product save and if i click on confirm you can see right now it's empty if i click on confirm confirmed user is mitchell admin you can see the logged in username so this is how we can inherit an existing function in odoo so i hope this is clear for you if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is odoomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook and twitter so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you